beginner friendly because I've never done this style before I've never even had this style let alone do it myself I don't part my own hair I don't braid my own hair I've never did anything like this before so trust me if I can do it you can do it okay <laughs> first things first I would like to thank you for coming back to my channel to watch another video and I'm gonna keep uploading weekly to give y'all what y'all want, to give y'all what y'all need. I got you, I got you, I got you. You'll need a crochet needle, a pair of scissors, edge control, rubber bands, and something to keep your hair moisturized. I used my Curly Shirley Custard. I'll add where you can purchase in the description box. Styling gel. Free Tris Braid Crochet. Water Wave, 22 inches. Also, for my little spirals, I used Free Tris Braid Go Go Curl, 12 inch. Some hair accessories, clip ons. You can get these from your local beauty supply. Embroidery string. So now what you're going to do is put two mirrors, one in front and one behind. It makes it a little easier to part. Um, as you can see, I still struggled a little. <laughs> I hate parting my hair. Um, so yeah, just do your best. After you finish parting, apply edge control and then comb through your parting sections to make sure it's nice and flat and tight. And then add the rubber band. I did my rubber bands kind of loose, which I end up kind of regretting. Um, so just don't do them too tight, but do them tighter than I did. I just kind of threw them on there because I was scared of breakage. <laughs> You'll also need a few clips. Sorry, I forgot to record that. Um, just clip the hair away from your parted square. Okay, it wasn't that easy, but guys, I'm telling you, it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. So for your squares that's going to be around your edges, I, I suggest you apply edge control and brush it down. 
leave out whatever baby hair you want to leave out comb it and then brush it with either an edge brush or if you're like me ghetto as hell i still use a toothbrush If this is your first time, like it's my first time, your parts are not going to be perfect. Do not stress over that. I'm telling you, like it's still going to look super cute when you're done. If I would have tried to get perfect parts, I would have been sitting there all day. And I do not have the time, okay? Now that all your parted squares are done, we can move on to the next step. Here's another clip of the hair that I'm using just so you can get an idea of what it looks like outside of the packaging. What you're gonna do is separate the hair from the middle and just kind of work your way down to the ends. To be 100% honest, I went through like three or four strands that I wasted because this hair tangles so easily. And it might not even be as easily as I'm saying because I'm not used to working with hair like this. Like I told you, I've never done anything like this before. But your girl struggled. See, it just tangled and tangled. But eventually I got it together. Just take your time. Don't rush, work your fingers through the hair. The crochet needle is open. When you stick it through the square, and then once the hair is in, you close the crochet needle. Now just pull the fake hair through. Like I said, my rubber bands were really loose, so I had to keep tightening them. Add a little moisturizer to your hair. Add a little gel. Tighten it and twist it a lot of people like to knot it but I did not want to add knots because I didn't want it super bulky and I'm not keeping these in super long so I just went on and twisted but you can you can knot it's all about preference if you like you can knot it so while you're twisting just make sure that your hands stay moisturized with gel the entire time Once you feel like gel isn't on your fingers anymore, just keep applying it to your fingers. Just a little, not a big old blob. If it gets tangled, it's okay. Just work your fingers through. I added a little water. Like if it got too like tangled, it kind of helped the synthetic hair.
Once you twist all the way down to the end, add more gel and just twist it around your finger until you get like a nice spiral curl. So for the twist that you're gonna have the curl left out, do the same thing with the hair, stretch it and everything, and then add a little piece of the go-go curl. Apply the hair the exact same way. Make sure you moisturize, add a little gel, twist it, and then once you get down to probably like a little bit after the beginning of the twist or like the middle, Pick the go-go curl out of the hair, which will be easy. be easy to tell the curl apart because it's a different type of curl it's a looser curl so just pick that out of the twist and then continue twisting Like I said before, make sure you keep your fingers moisturized, keep adding gel. You should not be twisting dry. It should always be kind of like a juicy twist, if that makes any sense. And now that you're done with your twist, let's add the accessories. So you're gonna take a little of the embroidery string and just wrap it around a couple of times in the same spot and then start working your way down crisscrossing it. Now this is usually done with braids. I haven't seen any with twists, but I just knew it would be super cute and I'm like, this is what I want. So I tried it and even though it's not as neat, that's exactly what I wanted. Once you get down to the end, just tie a knot about two or three times and then cut off the end. Add your little clip-in accessories. I didn't want too many, I just kind of wanted, I wanted the hair to look really cute, but like very nonchalant. Like I didn't put in this much effort. <laughs> and there it is, we're all done. And it came out way cuter than I expected and exactly what I wanted. Very bohemian, very nonchalant, but still neat, but not too neat, if that makes any sense. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe.